Hey guys, what's up? So I wanted to turn on my camera and start recording because I ordered something that I've been super freaking excited to get and I've been wanting for like ever. Like I've been wanting this for a long time. So I finally was like, why not just order it? <laughs> so I'm really excited. I finally just ordered it and made the big purchase and I'm really excited because it comes today. So I wanted to start recording because something for it just came. I did overnight um, delivery on this so that I could get it today when my thing comes in the mail. It's supposed to be here by like 10 tonight, but it'll probably be here earlier, I'm guessing. So I overnighted this and I'll show you guys what it is. But yeah, I just got done working out. I've been so busy with like business stuff lately and just I don't know, getting my life together here. I know I've been here for like a few months now, like more than a few months now, but like getting your life together in a new state when you don't know anyone is a process. So I think when you see this, you'll know what I ordered, but I got some barista oat milk. I got a six pack because when I go to coffee shops, this is my favorite oat milk, or at least one of them. But one of my top favorite oat milks, every time I go to a coffee shop and I really like the coffee, I look and notice that this is the oat milk that they're using. And I used to think that Oatly was my favorite, but every time I like really love my coffee, it's this oat milk. So I decided to get six of them because guys, I bought myself an espresso machine. I've been wanting it for like months now. This is like not a sponsorship, like no free promo. Oops. Yeah, I've been wanting it for a long time now and I was just like, why am I not buying it? So I bought it and I'm really excited for it. I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but I'm just really excited for it to come and I'm going to obviously film when it comes today. I have a other things coming in the mail soon too. I've been like ordering a bunch of stuff randomly, so be ready for some hauls and stuff because I've just been like on an ordering frenzy. <laughs> I always get in these moods where like I just want to order everything I've been wanting. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I'm just like, whatever, I don't need it. But then I get in these moods where I'm like, I need everything that I want and I need it right now. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. But for the rest of the day, I'm just going to film. I have a try on haul to film. It's Princess Polly and then like one thing from Revolve. So I wanna get that filmed today. And then later I'm going out to a nice dinner. I'm gonna have some wine and some good food. So I'm excited for that. And yeah, guys, that's it. I'm gonna go now. I'm just really excited for this espresso machine. I know I've said that like 10 times, but I look really bad and I need to shower and get ready. So, oh guys, today I also have two makeup products that I've been really, really excited to try coming in the mail from Sephora. So hopefully that comes before I do my makeup today, but it probably won't. But if it does, that'd be awesome. And then I'll show you guys that too. Okay, I'm gonna go shower. <laughs> I just got out of the shower. I didn't wash my hair because I was gonna wear it natural. I need to take these disgusting braids out, but we'll get ready together because my Sephora order came when I was in the shower. So I'm super happy and excited. Let's open it. I keep saying excited today. That's like my word. So the first thing I got is the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat Micro Precision Brow Pencil. I'll throw it up on the screen because it's not focusing. Yes, my camera is still having focusing issues. <laughs> if any of you know how to work, a Lumix G85, I think is what it is and like the best settings, just let me know. But anyway, so I got a new brow thing, brow product, because I've been using the Benefit Brow Wow, I think is what it's called. I'll throw up what I've been using on the screen and I've also been using, oh, I forget the brand. I'll throw it up on the screen too. Um, but I've been using those two. They're pretty much the same product, just a different brand. Oh, Glossier. I like the Glossier one better, but I think that's just cause I like the color better, but I've been wanting to do my brows a little differently and define them a little more. So I got a brow pencil. I've used a brow pencil in the past, but I've used like the Maybelline one. I'll throw it up here too. And I did really like it. I just wanted to try something different because it didn't outline my brows the way I wanted it to. So I wanted to try this. Okay guys, my camera, the memory card got full. But I don't remember what I was saying. The cool thing about the Charlotte Tilbury brow pencil, because I was going between this one and the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, which is super popular. And I went with this one because you can buy the refill for like $15. So it ends up being cheaper in the long run because you can buy a refill and just use the same container thing. Whereas the Anastasia one, you would have to buy a completely new one. Then the second thing I got is the thing that everyone is freaking out about. 
hold on, let me change my camera battery. Okay guys, I moved locations. But the second thing that I got is the thing that the whole internet has been freaking out over and has been trying and has been sold out. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. So I'm really, really excited to try this. I've been seeing makeup routines with people using this. I want to see if I can use it either under a skin tint, like a tinted moisturizer type thing, or if I can just use it on its own. I got kind of like a tan shade because I am pretty tan right now. I got the shade 4 medium. So let's try this out. I'm gonna get ready right now. I'm gonna try out the brow pencil too. And yeah. I'll let you guys know my like super honest thoughts with this stuff. Hopefully one day I get a better angle for the bathroom. <laughs> Maybe it's not that bad to you guys, but I have to like bend down. Otherwise you don't really see me when I'm looking in the mirror. I don't know. I'm moving soon. I hope that's the plan as long as I can like find a place. The Arizona market right now is insane and it's really freaking hard to find an apartment. So yeah, hopefully I find a place because I want out of this apartment as soon as possible. But okay, so I already did my like base skincare. So if you guys are interested, I started with this Biosense Serum. And then after I put that on, I used, I'm out of my moisturizer. This is the one I usually use from Biosense as well, but I'm out of it. So I put this on instead. This is the like ultra repair, whatever. This stuff's super popular too. I'm actually gonna put a little more on because my skin has been super dry lately. I've noticed though with putting that serum on under a moisturizer, it totally fixed a lot of my dryness. I'm experiencing more than I ever have because I moved to the desert. But if you are experiencing dryness, like use a hydrating serum under your moisturizer and I swear it's like a game changer. And also if you find your makeup not going on like how you want it to, like smooth and flawless. It's probably because you're not prepping your skin right. So definitely use a serum and then use a moisturizer and then use a primer. And that'll give you like the best base to then put on your foundation, you know? So I'm using this Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Facial Primer. This stuff has like vitamin C in it and some other stuff, but vitamin C is super good for your like complexion. So I've been liking this. It just gives your face a really like youthful glow under your makeup, which is super nice. Now we're gonna try this. You're supposed to put it on under your foundation. I'm gonna put it on with a beauty blender and wet the beauty blender. And apparently you're just literally supposed to put this all over your face. So it's kind of thick. Guys, look how literally perfect that matches my skin. Like, I can't even see where I put it. Guys, I did so good. I never do good with color off the internet. I literally can't even see where I put it. <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna beat this in my face. I think I'm just gonna do one side and see if I can see a difference. Okay, I don't know if you can really notice a difference, but I put it on this side of my face and not this side, and I can definitely notice a difference. Like, it's super light coverage and, like, glowy. Like, it's really pretty, really, really natural and super light. I kind of love it. Like, I actually really like it. I'm gonna keep going and see what it looks like under makeup and stuff. I don't even know if I'm gonna wear foundation over it. Like, I feel like I just wanna use this and then do my makeup over it. Guys, I love this. I'm obsessed. Literally, go buy it. I'm really fucking happy. I bought the right color. Okay, now I'm using my Radiant Creamy NARS concealer just to conceal. I've decided I'm not using any like skin tint or foundation or anything because I want to see how this stuff goes with really light basic makeup. I'm using like a brighter one. This is I think their lightest shade and I'm using it to like brighten up my eyes and brighten up around my eyes to make myself look, you know, more awake and lively. Now I'm going to use the Born This Way Too Faced contour slash concealer slash retoucher. This is like a multi-use product. Oh fuck, and I just dropped it all over my white carpet. <laughs> Shit, cool. So I'm just gonna do this. You know how it goes. Just to like bring some life back into my face and contour a little bit, add some color and dimension. I just turned on my AC, so if there's an annoying noise, that's what it is. I'm gonna try this brow stuff now and I'm really excited to try it. So I think I'm just gonna start by like outlining the bottom of my brow and then outlining the top and then like just flicking in color and like hair onto my eyebrows. Okay, I don't know if you can tell guys, but I did this eyebrow and I haven't done this one. I don't know, can you guys tell? I feel like this one's a little more defined, so I really like it so far because that's what I wanted. So, 
I'm gonna do the second one now. Okay guys, I did both eyebrows. I think I got too light of a color. The color like is a lot warmer than my natural eyebrows. But yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready. Guys, it came. Ignore all that. <laughs> I'm super freaking excited. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Let's just open it because I'm really excited. I probably said that word 10 times in this video. I literally want to play with this right now, but I have to go meet someone for dinner. So I don't get to play with it right now, but I want to so bad. Guys, I want to perfect the perfect espresso shot tonight so that tomorrow morning I can wake up. Actually, maybe I should just do this in the morning. It'll give me a reason to get out of bed. Yeah, we're gonna do it in the morning. Let's open it. I'm really, I'm not even gonna say that word again. I can't wait to see the beauty that it is. Also, this thing is heavy and I had to lug it like a half mile, maybe only like a fourth mile. But they dropped it off at the front because the Amazon delivery person didn't wanna bring it to my door. That's how heavy it is. So I had to bring it to my door myself and I had to take a break halfway through carrying it, but it just, Reminded me how weak my arms are and how much I should probably be working out my arms too and not just my legs Because I bet my legs could have carried it, you know, I don't know what I'm saying. Also, I'm sorry if like I'm not in focus My camera is a bitch <sighs> Okay Let's open this. Let's open this bitch. Guys, my outfit is actually so cute right now. Um, I don't love my hair. Sometimes I hate when my hair is natural, I feel like it just like throws off the vibe of the outfit. But the outfit itself is really cute, especially with heels, it's cute. I like always wanna wear my hair natural and then I do it when I'm like dissatisfied with how it looks. <sighs> Guys, I also got another package today and it says delivered, but I didn't get it. Like it's not in my mailbox, it's not in the office, and it wasn't at my door. So Amazon is like struggling. I don't know. That's kind of frustrating because now I have to get a new one delivered. I also feel like people in this apartment complex steal packages. That happened to me. I don't know if I vlogged about it, but that happened to me. It was like a few months ago now. When I first moved in here, someone stole my package and it was like full of all these brand new clothes that I was going to do a haul of and I never got to because it was stolen. And it was like a lot of clothes. And then the person, like I ended up talking to her about it and she didn't see a problem with it. So, I want to leave here, but, oh my god, I'm so excited. You have no idea. Okay. Guys, the Breville Barista Pro. <laughs> should we open her now or should we wait? I think we open her now. Guys, my hair is just not a vibe. I don't know. It's also dark in here. Does that help anything? No. My lighting, guys, is just so bad in here. I literally moved from a dungeon to another dungeon, and I told myself I wasn't going to get a dungeon here but I got one. I'm literally just babbling on about nothing today. Ooh. We got a starting guide. We have, I'm not sure what this is. We have the Porta filter. We have a cleaning kit. We have a tamper. This is a really poor quality tamper, I can already tell, but maybe I'm wrong. I did only work as a barista for a few months, so I could be very wrong. We have the razor, whatever that is. It's literally a razor. Oh, uh, this is the thing you use to scrape off stuff. And then we have a filter basket. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. We have more little filters, like different sizes and stuff for that thing. And then the espresso machine herself. Ooh, or should it be a boy? Let's figure out if this is a boy or a girl together. It depends on how she acts, you know? Okay. Literally sweating. Oh, my camera's dying. That's fantastic. It looks so static -y. Ow! Oh, do you hear that? I'm not even touching it. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay. baby milk frother jug thing a pitcher milk pitcher which is nice because i don't want to have to buy one so you just hold this under the thing and it froths for you there's a technique to that i'll teach you guys 
and I wonder why I can never have anything nice. So the thing that just dropped, this is the thing that you put on top that grinds the coffee for you. I think the grinder itself is actually like built in to the machine because this doesn't have any like grinding properties in it. It's just a little thing that holds your coffee beans and then it goes through it into the grinder. And then we have the machine itself upside down. I'm sorry. Let's put this the right way. Oh, it shocked me again. We have her I'm so excited guys. I know it looks small, but she is mighty. Look at her little milk frother. <gasps> look how beautiful. Look, 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 look. What's that? Grind. What? Oh, that's cool. So this, you put this in here somehow. I need to figure all this out tomorrow, but you put this in here somehow and it grinds the coffee fresh into this and then you tamp it and then you put it over here and you like twist it to lock it and then it brews your coffee and you put little like uh, coffee shot glasses which I forgot to pick up and I need to go pick up but you put those right under here and it makes your coffee yeah that's that baby Ooh, and oh god she's beautiful you need to figure out where to put it ignore the messy countertops but should I put it over here or should I find space for it over here? I'm feeling over here because there's just like more space to play with. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, hopefully my camera doesn't fall into the sink because if it does that, I really don't deserve nice things. <laughs> Guys, this, ugh, please comment below how to fix autofocus on this camera. Brian, if you're watching this video, let me fucking know. Thank you. Okay, this is her. <laughs> Him, her, we don't know yet. We're gonna put it over here, maybe. We have like a little coffee station over here. I feel like right here is perfect. Now there's a scratch on it, y'all. Look, I don't know if you can see, but I definitely did not do that. Uh, maybe I did do that, but I don't feel like I would have done that. I don't think I did that. <laughs> Ooh, I have I have stainless steel wipes. <laughs> Guys, I've literally been filming myself all day today and I just feel so weird talking to the camera. Like, I don't know, I don't feel like me today, but I hope whatever I'm filming and saying is interesting and not weird. Ooh, look, I'm reflecting. I mean, We'll see. You can't really see it anymore. Oh my god, she's beautiful. I think it's a girl at this point. Oh no, guys. My AC o ACD. My OCD is kicking in. So like, this is a great place for it, right? Can we just take a second to appreciate it? I'm gonna figure out how to use it and everything tonight, or probably tomorrow morning, realistically, because I have a dinner tonight. And then when I get home, I'm probably gonna want to clean up in here, guys. It's so messy in here. This always happens when I film all day long. It just gets so messy. So I'm gonna have to clean up. But yeah, I need to run out the door in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go finish getting ready. And then I'll see you guys in the morning when I have the coffee situation figured out. <laughs> 